Students of the St. Mary's College are expected to receive an upgrade to existing sport facilities at the institution through the provision of external funding. Support in the amount of $100,000 from the government of the People's Republic of China, Taiwan, $68,500 from the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, $15,000 from First National Bank, and $15,000 from St. Mary's College alumni has guaranteed implementation of the Court Rehabilitation Project in 2024. Reflecting on the overwhelming support extended by donors, Acting Principal of the St. Mary's College, Neil Fontenelle, affirmed his intention to ensure accountability in the management of funds received is maintained at every step of the project. The plan is essentially to resurface the court, first of all, to relay the fence, relay the tennis net, bring in state-of-the-art basketball rims, and we're also hoping to erect some bleachers. Deterioration of the court surface prompted urgent action to maintain the safety of students at the institution, which has been housed on the Viji Peninsula from July 1952. Chairman of the St. Mary's College Board of Management, Anthony Buski, expressed gratitude to agencies providing the financing required for rehabilitation. When one examines the court at St. Mary's College, and sees the ex exposed jagged edges of the one inch uh, aggregate stone, we can see that this project has now ventured into the realm of health and safety. According to Executive Director of the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, John Victorin, the support extended is a direct effort to improve the lives of the student population. It is these life skills that will help us transform into better individuals and more productive individuals, and at the end of the day, that redounds to the benefit of our country, the development of the country, and the interests of, our, all, of us all as citizens of St. Lucia. Corporate partner First National Bank described support for the venture as reaffirming its commitment to national development. We are just committed to education, youth, sports, and social development here in St. Lucia. His Excellency Peter Chen, Taiwan's ambassador to St. Lucia, identified the encouragement of holistic growth as the impetus for continued support of his government. On behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I would like to express our ongoing support to the significant development in St. Mary's College. Emphasizing the holistic development of the students, encompassing morality, intelligence, physical health, and Aesthetics remains paramount. Member of Parliament for Castries North, Honorable Stevenson King, who was instrumental in sourcing funding for the rehabilitation project, disclosed of an upcoming meeting with a U.S.-based firm expected to initiate a pilot project which will also benefit the institution. I'll select St. Mary's College as one of the courts we will use as a pilot to improve on the plain surface so as not to cause any injury to you the boys whenever you use the court. I'm promising you, not for four years or after four years, I'm promising you within the next 24 months that I will undertake a project to light the court. Work on the St. Mary's College Rehabilitation Project is expected to reach conclusion within the calendar year. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium reporting.